Norway has emerged as a shining example of economic success, boasting a remarkable standard of living and prosperity that sets it apart from other nations. With a combination of factors, including a robust economy driven by the oil and gas industry, abundant natural resources, low unemployment rates, and a strong commitment to social welfare, Norway has achieved a level of economic prosperity that is the envy of the world. When I was going to college, one of my housemates was Norwegian and he showed me where they lived. I looked at that picture and I understand why it's the happiest place. The mountains, the blue, the green, everything. But At the heart of Norway's economic success is its thriving oil and gas industry, which provides stability and wealth for the nation. The country's vast reserves of petroleum, seafood, hydropower, lumber, minerals, natural gas, and fresh water contribute significantly to its economic growth. These abundant resources have not only fueled the country's economy, but have also helped create a high standard of living for its citizens. While Norway's oil wealth is often emphasized, it is essential to recognize that the country's prosperity is not solely dependent on petroleum. Uh, Norway, that is, right? Yeah. Well, they are ready because they have focused on a lot of other things, uh, like I said, other than, than oil itself. They have used that money to uh, improve technological innovation in the country, they have looked at employment, they have looked at education, they have looked at closing the gender gap. Historically, Norway has been one of the richer and more developed nations, surpassing many European countries in terms of economic development. Strategic investments in industries such as shipping, maritime trade, and hydroelectric power, along with a commitment to strong governance and prudent financial management, have played a crucial role in Norway's success story. The Norwegian oil industry began in the 1960s, and it has grown rapidly since then. Norway is the world's 10th largest oil exporter and the 7th largest natural gas exporter. The oil industry employs over 200,000 people in Norway. In 2021, the industry accounted for 20% of the country's GDP, and the exports of oil and gas alone contributed over $100 billion annually. Norway's transparent approach, with detailed information about petroleum revenues made available to the public, ensures responsible use of these resources. The government pension fund Global, GPFG, also known as the Oil Fund, is a sovereign wealth fund managed by Norges Bank on behalf of the Norwegian government. It is funded by Norway's petroleum revenues, and its assets are invested in international markets. As of March 2023, the GPFG had assets of over $1.4 trillion, making it the world's largest sovereign wealth fund. The numbers ticking behind me here is the real-time value of the Norwegian Sovereign Wealth Fund. This fund is basically the resources that we have generated on the Norwegian shelf, and it belongs to all of us, not just someone. The government's majority stake in Equinor, the country's largest oil and gas company, ensures that profits benefit the nation as a whole. Furthermore, Norway's Norwegian model of petroleum taxation, which involves sharing profits with oil companies, fosters a mutually beneficial relationship that contributes to the broader Norwegian economy. Likewise, Norway's fisheries sector, supported by its long coastline and cold waters, contributes significantly to its economy, with fish exports representing a substantial portion of its overall exports. Norway's fish exports exceed $10 billion annually, and its forestry and mineral sectors provide employment opportunities and raw materials for various industries. Norway's high taxation system has been instrumental in supporting its economic success and providing a strong social welfare system. With progressive tax rates, including a top marginal income tax rate of 33% and a corporate tax rate of 22%, the government collects substantial tax revenues. These revenues is then utilized to fund essential public services, infrastructure development, and robust social welfare programs. So a big pro here in Norway is that the welfare system is absolutely amazing. Schools, kindergarten, hospitals, and everything, you can trust that it's really great. Transparency International consistently ranks Norway among the least corrupt countries globally, highlighting the country's low levels of corruption. This environment of transparency and integrity fosters a stable and trustworthy business climate, attracting investments and promoting economic growth. Norway's strong rule of law, coupled with a well-functioning judicial system, ensures fair and impartial decisions, contributing to a favorable business environment. Norway's emphasis on education and innovation has been crucial in driving its economic success, 
The country's investment in research and development, accounting for 3.1% of its GDP in 2021, has fostered a highly skilled workforce and facilitated innovation in key sectors, such as oil and gas, maritime industries, and renewable energy. Norway's high ranking on the Human Development Index, with a life expectancy of 82.3 years and a 99% adult literacy rate, underscores the country's commitment to overall well-being. Its stable economy and high per capita income of $65,510 contribute to a high standard of living. That just being a Norwegian citizen, I am entitled to healthcare. Is that, is that what we're talking about? Absolutely, yes. You're entitled okay. to it. And everybody is covered. Everybody is covered. Enabling access to a wide range of goods and services. The country leads the world in renewable energy with almost entirely renewable electricity generation and a carbon neutral status. Ambitious targets for reducing greenhouse gas emissions and investments in sustainable technologies demonstrate Norway's dedication to environmental stewardship. In 2021, 98% of Norway's electricity generation came from renewable sources, primarily hydropower. The country is committed to becoming carbon neutral by 2030 and it has committed to reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 50% by 2030, compared to 1990 levels. Another ambitious goal of Norway is to phase out all fossil fuel cars by 2025. Norway's public infrastructure, including its transportation network, telecommunications infrastructure, and reliable energy system, serves as a vital pillar for its economic strength. These well-developed systems facilitate efficient movement of goods and people, support economic activities, and enhance productivity. For instance, the road network in Norway is one of the most extensive in the world, with over 93,000 kilometers of paved roads. The rail network is also well developed, with over 4,000 kilometers of track, and the airport network is extensive, with over 50 airports in operation. Their transportation systems are excellent. Uh, for example, they have the, the Bybana, which is the city train in Bergen that goes through most of the city and you know to the church or to the, the main city or even to your apartment. Likewise, the broadband penetration rate in Norway is over 95% and the mobile phone penetration rate is over 100%. Norway's financial sector, characterized by stability and regulation, plays a significant role in its economic success. A well-regulated financial environment provides businesses and investors with security, while efficient financial services ensure access to necessary resources at a low cost. The country's strong credit rating further reinforces its economic strength and facilitates low-cost borrowing. Norway's commitment to entrepreneurship and the development of a thriving startup ecosystem has contributed significantly to its economic growth. Supportive policies including tax breaks, research and development grants, and funding programs encourage entrepreneurship and foster innovative ventures. Tax breaks for entrepreneurs include a 22% tax rate on profits from new businesses and a 100% deduction for research and development expenses. The presence of incubators and accelerators further provides crucial resources and guidance to early stage businesses. The number of startups in Norway has been growing rapidly in recent years. In 2021, there were over 10,000 startups in Norway. In 2021, the startup ecosystem generated over $1 billion in revenue and created over 10,000 jobs. Norway's active participation in international trade partnerships has been a key driver of its economic success. Norway is a member of EFTA, which is a free trade association of four countries, Iceland, Liechtenstein, Norway, and Switzerland. Norway is also a member of the EEA, which is an extension of the European Union's single market to EFTA countries. The EEA allows for the free movement of goods, services, capital, and people between Norway and the EU. The country's high volume of exports, coupled with a trade surplus, contributes to its economic prosperity. In 2021, Norway exported goods and services worth over $300 billion, and the export of goods and services accounts for about 50% of Norway's GDP. Social cohesion is another strength of Norway's society, with the highest level of social trust in the world. This trust, combined with a low crime rate, fosters a sense of security and well-being, enabling individuals to focus on productive endeavors. Everything is safe. You can go on the street and be safe. You can let your kids go on the bike and still be safe. It is no problem. Norway has a homicide rate of 0.5 per 100,000 people. This is much lower than the global average of 6.2 per 100,000 people. By leveraging its diverse resources, responsible management practices, social welfare system, 
commitment to education and innovation, and active participation in international trade, Norway has secured its position as one of the world's wealthiest nations with a remarkable standard of living. Thanks for watching. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel.